Hello and welcome back to the Brand Booktube channel. It is 2021 and we're here with our first video. Today we're going to be talking about The Sad Part Was by Prabhda Yoon. It is a collection of short stories from a Thai author kind of about life in Bangkok or at least different stories that are meant to be told by people from Bangkok. It is a really interesting read. I really have grown to appreciate short stories and short story collections. In the past, I was always like, oh, well, you know, you can't really tell a full story in, I don't know, maybe five to 10 pages, but you really can. And the sad part was really does demonstrate that. Again, I am so excited for this book and I was so excited to read this book because it was our first book from Southeast Asia, which is awesome. And I hope we get so many more. And I just would like to talk about a couple of the stories. I think there's one in particular actually I'll really go into detail about, which kind of demonstrated why I really love this. It is basically a story about a couple who are being intimate, if you will, for lack of a better term. And there is a lightning storm, it seems, and a man dies on their roof. And it's kind of their two different reactions to this entire situation, which is so interesting. For example, the woman is very, she's worried, she's being very logical about everything. She's like, okay, well, I'm a bit scared about this. We need to kind of sort out the police and stuff. Whereas the man is also being logical, but in a different sense, that he is using logic to kind of jump through hoops to be like, yeah, we could call the police, but we can do that later. And he's being very blunt and cold-hearted, whereas the lady is being very like, you know, we kind of need to get things going, we need to get this done. And they both come from these very logical, almost. They, they kind of portray themselves as being logical, but one of them is being cold and calculated, and the other one is using logic to be a kind of a better person. And the ending is like, oh, jeez, you guys shouldn't have made some of the decisions you made. And yeah, I thought it was just super interesting. The other story, listen, just go get this. There were so many great stories, but the second story, which is another one, which is a very different type of short story. So the first one was all about this very obvious narrative of these two people are being intimate, a thing happens, and then it's kind of the result. The other one is a story all about a guy who is just on a bus, and he sees a woman writing and he sees the way she's writing and he's just enthralled and amazed by the way she's writing and he gets very analytical about it. He gets in his head, he starts talking to this lady about why, you know, your writing is kind of like this, the spacing you're leaving between the words, X, Y, and Z, you know, it could mean this, but it could mean that, but it could also mean this. And the whole story, it's really about a guy who's getting so inside his own head He's not really listening to the stuff around him. He's very, it's kind of that story of when you think about something and you, you're just thinking so much about it and you're like, wait, is this okay? Is this right? Am I correct? It's this, no, it's that, no, it's this. And everything else that's happening just kind of almost gets ignored, which is a can potentially be a very bad thing, but it very much goes into that mindset. And it's how this guy's kind of putting his thoughts onto this woman and the woman is uh, very much a kind of person that you wouldn't expect when a guy comes to you and is blathering all this stuff to you about the way you're writing and why you're writing that way she's just very an accepting very kind just calm person and it's just, again it's that dichotomy in the characters which i really love but yeah i i can't recommend this enough like i'm so happy i just walked into a bookshop and I saw the cover and I'll be honest, this cover is beautiful. A lot of the covers by, I think it's like Twisted Literature. I don't remember the name of the publisher, but I really love the covers they have for these books. I think I have a couple of other ones here or at my parents' place, but it's great. I really recommend the sad part was, and it's a really nice, like it's easy to get into all of these stories. I guess that's a benefit of short stories. It's that, because, depending on the length, obviously they're very snappy, you kind of want to get more and you keep reading. 
I read this almost entirely on a journey to a shopping centre in London. I think it took me about... I read most of it in about an hour and a half journey there and back. And then I read the rest, I think, that evening. So, it's a very nice read to get through. And, yeah, I mean, you don't even have to read all of the stories if you want to. You don't need to read as in, in a chronological order. Chronological order? I think that's what you would call reading short stories front to back. I would say they're chronological. I don't know. You don't need to read them in order, is what I'm saying. Like, you can kind of look at the titles, which one, you know, picks your fancy. I couldn't find that expression. I'm pretty sure that was wrong. Uh, whichever book, you know, kind of catches your fancy, check that out, because I, I don't know. I just really want more people to read this. I, I Loads of people might have maybe read this, and I'm just like, oh, look at this book. Uh, I might be just behind to the party, but I just really, really recommend this. And I'm looking forward to maybe picking up more of Pravda Yoon's work somewhere. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this year. Uh, next week's video, I promise, is going to be a reflection of all the videos and books I read last year. So keep an eye out for that huh? let me know in the comments down below if you've read the sad part was by Prabhda Yoon if you've read anything by Prabhda Yoon let me know what I can what else I can read and let me know what book you're reading at the moment thank you for watching remember to like subscribe share the video and I hope you read a really great book today